And um, so basically what I was going to say, um, I have spent a lot of my life uh, out of Scotland, uh -huh. um, in the Middle East, and uh, more recently moving over the border from Kendal in the Lake District back to, uh, to Glasgow. A lovely, a lovely part of the world, Kendal in the Lake District. It was, it was beautiful. I was working there. Um, job finished. I'm a, a granddad of, uh, of two lovely granddaughters. Wow. So, all the more reason to return. And well, I somebody, it was the best thing I ever did. Ray, somebody said to me recently, what you need as a granddad of two little ones is a strong back, because apparently they like to treat granddad as some sort of pony. Very much so. <laughs> I, would agree, I, would, I would have to agree with that, indeed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, I'm here in sunny Govan. Um glad to be back um, after all the years of thinking that you know, the grass was always greener on the other side. Well, I think we uh, have to do a bit of that, otherwise we'd never do anything, and the Scots have always done spectacular things abroad. They say that the prophet has no honour in his own land. I actually disproved that when I was on the radio. You did? You know, I was fated by the Scottish people. When I left Lancashire to come up here to do Scott FM, people said to me, the Scots will never go for any of your nonsense, by the way. And um, they went for it 100%. They did. They lapped it up. I was yeah. one of uh, one of the, uh, the early callers. Uh, you were slightly more uh, combative then. Yes. Um, well, you see, I... Your persona. Yes, but, I, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I can't be now. Scott FM show. Scott FM was, as I've said many times, Scotland's finest radio hour. Oh, yeah, definitely. I uh, loved it. Um, so, yeah, that's all I've got to say for myself. As I'm reading all the comments. I'm loving the show. Uh, I was very, uh, uh, very much against independence uh, in the first NDRF. Um, I was I was able to vote um, because I hadn't been out of the country for that long. I was uh, in Denmark at the time, um, and uh, I just after after Brexit and everything that's going on with this, uh, you know, cost of living crisis and everything, I think it's the only way forward. And I grew up in a very strong SNP household. My dad was an SNP councillor. I moved to the Communist Party. Um, more socially minded, you know, more socialistically minded. I think now my mind has completely changed. I think the well, only way forward is I, our independence. Ray, I, I, I welcome your integrity and honesty. It's just fantastic, and, and we love that. It's so lovely to have you calling the show. And um, what I feel uh, about the whole thing, I mean, I'm a convert as well. I'm not a political animal as such. But I am an economic animal, and um, I think that Scotland needs to be rebuilding its economy ASAP, and it needs to be out of the clutches. And I use the term clutches of Westminster. I don't know if you're into TikTok, but if you are, please follow Scotty McClue at Scotty McClue, because there's a lot of real top videos. And I found out last week that uh, 4 4.2 .2 million Sorry, 4.6 million, I think it was, have followed Scotty McClue's stuff. I've actually watched it. <clears throat> oh, you've disappeared there. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, you're back, yeah. Um, well, I mean, yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm on TikTok. I was the one that sent you the cups of tea. Ah, you're very, very kind. I thank you so much for the cups of tea. <laughs> well, nothing more than a bit.